it's quarter to ten. We're walking. I had to stop and get a shot of that. There's people stood <laughs> where there's a big space. Good lord. Somebody has moved the trailer. I can hardly believe it. There are people celebrating by parking everywhere here. <laughs> Okay. I didn't say on camera, did I? That was the conversation I had with somebody uh, down the harbour yesterday. They told me that they were, or they had, made reports about the trailers. Uh, I was uh, gratified to hear that, that I pointed out, uh, because of the videos I've done. I'll probably get the blame. Oh well. As long as they're gone, that's the good news. I hope the council took them, rather than the owner, so that the owner is disadvantaged. Like he has disadvantaged everybody by parking them there for so long. Leave it! Leave it! Flipping squirrel just fell out of the tree. It's back up in it. <laughs> first time I've actually seen that, so I didn't get it on the camera, of course. The squirrel fell out the tree. Bear was going for it, but it scooted straight back up again. Uh, and fire bear, mate. Uh, on the way here, we pass under some uh, hedgerow on, on the... In, in the vicinity of the Northfields Industrial Estate. And this one bit of hedgerow, they cut back loads recently, which was, you know, gratifying, because you're always forcing your way past. This one little bit is overhanging and, and is in your face every time you walk out there. So I stopped this morning and broke off a few branches. What happens? I lacerated myself. You know, a couple of little minor scratches. All my skin's off again. I'm, you know, bleeding like a good in here. I mean, it's more or less stopped now, but I'm, I'm a right flipping mess here, covered in blood. Couldn't make it up, could you? Right. Okay, it's a very fine day. Uh... The tall ship is still down there. I can just see the masts through the weeds here. It's still there. And it looks as though... Let me back up. It looks like a two-ferry service today. There's one there, and there's one off over there. That's what it looks like right now. Very warm. to head for a beach so that I can wash me <laughs> wash the blood off. Oh dear. Now that spare bag. There is a bit of movement on the water. So there must be a breeze there somewhere. And that one is still sat there, although I did hear comms every once in a about getting fuel, blah blah blah. Anyway. Stop eating the grass. Okay, got some of sandwich wrapper in my pocket, stuffed in the undergrowth on the way down here. Uh, there's a lot of yucky looking seaweed here still. And the dead bird, which has been floating around here for uh, a couple of days now. I haven't bothered having a close investigation because it's a dead bird and we don't want to get into that. I do need to wash my hands. Uh, you seem to want to, Bear. Uh, I haven't thrown it yet, actually, mate. Now I have. Okay, I need to get onto the beach and get wet hands. Okay, we've got uh, a token bit of rubbish off the beach here. It's a token bit because uh, the wave action's just buried it all. There's mountains of... Uh, seaweed and stuff out there, but it's been buried by the wave action, so... Actually, not a huge amount of rubbish here just now. That's a big one coming in there. 
Uh, right. Let's get this bag in a pocket and I need to do a bit of out, out, damned spot. Will these hands ne'er be clean? Okay, I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit cleaner. Still look pretty beaten up. Uh, I think I can see names on these, so we'll get some names if we can. I bet that one is very nice inside. It looks big enough to be so. Thinking of me, other doggy. Eh? point. There is a bit of wind, there is. That's why they're all facing out like that. I've got the bear up behind me, I think. You there, bear. You are. Good boy. Uh, I cannot see a single cloud in the sky here. Uh, even looking behind me. Not a single cloud, look at that. What a stunner. Not a cloud, absolutely none. I think we're going to dispense with the ferry. It looks to me like that ship's on the move. The 
because they seem to be turning more than the wind is, I think. Wonder if they've escaped the water. <clears throat> That was a close look, what? <laughs> what it looks here from this perspective. I'd love to be able to see what they're looking at down there. I mean, they've travelled quite a distance from where they were anchored. Uh, because, of course, there was a, a mark in the water there that uh, shows where they were. Uh, just there, if I can find it. They were right in line with that. So they've moved off a long distance. So that... It seems unlikely that they're uh, stuck on the wire or anything like that. But they do seem to be spending a lot of time looking over there, don't they? I presume they're free of everything because they do now seem to be moving about maybe it was just a bit of mud on there Okay, we got a little bit. I was tempted, I, because I thought they would be going in for fuel. That's the comms I heard. I was tempted to get down the harbour, because the, you could have got some damn good shots with that uh, steaming in, couldn't you? And manoeuvring for fuel and all of that. But uh, yeah, we've ended up here, sat here in a blazing sun instead. Overheating. <laughs> 